It was just reported that Microsoft is planning to invest another $10 billion in OpenAI. This is the company that created the viral projects ChatGPT and Dolly 2. These applications have dominated the news cycle and have many thinking that the AI revolution may be coming sooner than we thought. ChatGPT became the fastest product to 1 million users in history. It took just five days. For comparison, Facebook and Instagram took over two years to hit the same mark. The possible implementation of ChatGPT are endless. If you are not familiar with it, I really suggest you look into it after watching this video. Over the long term, it seems like this has the opportunity to change the nature of work itself. So what is OpenAI? Why is Microsoft investing even more into it? And how will this benefit Microsoft shareholders? My name is Zach and you should leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. Dividend Data is an investing channel, so I'll primarily be focusing on Microsoft's reported investment and what that means for the company. But first, let's briefly explain their history with OpenAI. The organization was originally founded in late 2015 by Sam Altman, Elon Musk, and others who collectively pledged $1 billion. They are an AI research and deployment company with the mission to, quote, ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. In 2019, Microsoft invested $1 billion into the company. This was split between cash and credits for their Azure cloud computing service. That may turn out to be one of Microsoft's best investments ever. In return, OpenAI agreed to exclusively license their GPT-3 language model directly to Microsoft. Additionally, the company will train and run their AI models exclusively on Azure. This alone is already a fantastic move by Microsoft. Not only do they have an ownership stake in one of the most innovative companies, but exclusive rights to help it power two pillars of their business. Microsoft is already implementing OpenAI's tools into their applications. For example, GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programmer that intelligently suggests code and entire functions in real time right from your editor. This is just the beginning of how it can be used to accelerate the rate of software development. More software means more cloud hosting, fueling Microsoft's cloud business. Microsoft is planning to add this technology into far more of their products. For example, there have been reports that they are looking to integrate ChatGPT technology into Bing with hopes of stealing search market share away from Google. On top of this, they are planning to integrate it into their Office suite and all their Microsoft 365 applications. It would give a competitive edge to their applications and widen the economic moat around that business. Aside from this, Microsoft's cloud business and their ownership stake in OpenAI gets to benefit from all the other companies paying to use their API to build applications. There are countless startups now building apps with Dolly and GPT-3. According to Reuters, OpenAI itself expects $1 billion in revenue by 2024. This has the potential to grow into a gigantic business long term, especially with a financial partner like Microsoft. After the viral success of ChatGPT, Microsoft seems ready to double down on their relationship with OpenAI or maybe more like 10x. It was just reported that Microsoft is looking to invest another $10 billion into the company. The venture round will potentially value OpenAI at $29 billion. That is a crazy high amount considering the recession in the tech venture capital world. It seems like Microsoft is being greedy when others are fearful. The reported terms of the deal are quite aggressive too. It's reported that Microsoft will receive 75% of all profits until they recoup their $10 billion investment. That's a Kevin O'Leary Shark Tank style deal. Afterwards, Microsoft will own a 49% equity stake in OpenAI. Both Microsoft and OpenAI are yet to officially comment on the report, so the details are subject to change. This news got the investment world talking. Let's hear what the CNBC analysts had to say when the news broke earlier today. After the clip, I'll explain what I think this means for my investment in Microsoft stock. I mean, this is a big deal. They, they've put a billion dollars in in the past, but $10 billion, getting that kind of evaluation really amps this up. It's crazy money. I mean, I think the biggest venture round before this is probably WeWork, right? Four billion, which had everyone's head spinning. Um, I think the right way to think about this is actually M&A. This is really, I mean, they're going to end up owning almost half of this thing for $10 billion, and it's really a strategic investment for them. So I think I would think about it more like an M&A deal than a, a venture round. Do I understand the details right, that it's not $10 billion up front, it's money over years, and if they hit certain sort of milestones that yeah. they blaze in? It's over time, and it might include, you know, the first investment they did in Chad GPT was mostly credits, right? Because this app's biggest cost by far is computing power. Every time, you know, you have fun on it and you just ask it a question, it costs like two cents. Yeah. So it's huge competing costs. So at Microsoft, and a lot of these cloud companies have been basically buying market share, right? 
you remember that Google, I think, put a billion dollars into CME um, with an understanding they would move their business to Google Cloud. So there's been a lot of like this sort of in-kind trade, but there is serious cash coming in here too. How different is this just in terms of the computing power you need? I, I think of only a few players that might be able to actually come up with something like that. It'd be Microsoft, it'd be Google, it'd be Amazon, maybe IBM, but maybe that's a stretch. Maybe, uh, like certainly some Chinese players too, but no, I think the right way to think about it is is it's a huge computing play for Microsoft, right? They, they're the number three player in this business, certainly behind Amazon and Google. I'm sorry, they're number two uh, behind Amazon, but ahead of Google. But also, um, you know, they really think this is going to power the next generation of their software. Some investors even think that ChatGPT integrated into Bing could let them meaningfully disrupt Google's search business. On Yahoo Finance, Gil Loria argues that this is a generational opportunity for Microsoft. Make the case for why this could be a once in a decade, once in perhaps a generation investment opportunity for Microsoft. Well, if you think about where Google's market cap comes from, their 1.1 trillion almost 60% of that comes from their search business. So, uh, and that's because Google search is so much better than Bing. It's 10 times bigger business than Bing. If incorporating ChatGPT into Bing makes it competitive with Google search, that's the amount of market cap that Microsoft could take away from Google in the order of magnitude of 600 billion. In the short term, Microsoft is benefiting greatly because all this, uh, data and computing power is going to its Azure cloud hosting business. And so it's it's money that they're investing that's coming right back to Microsoft to grow its most important business, the Azure business. So it's a great investment for Microsoft in a product that could really help it transform its two key products. Personally, I think this is an extremely difficult task for Microsoft. Google has dominant market share and Googling itself has become the verb for search. Additionally, they've been working on a similar AI technology with Google Lambda. However, in the next clip, he brought up a key point that is vital to understand in this search war. So you think, Gil, Bing takes down Google and do you think Google is working on something like this? Oh, absolutely. Google's working on a product called Lambda that should be able to do the same thing. But what we're hearing is that it's not quite as good as ChatGPT yet. And then the other aspect of this is that Google relies on its current advertising business model for almost its entire business. Again, 57% of its revenue comes from advertising through Google search. If they were to change the way we do search to start answering questions instead of giving us a list of websites, that would very much disrupt their business. So Google will be encounter the classic innovator's dilemma. Do they destroy their own business in order to stay ahead or do they try to slow down progress? If they try to slow down progress, that gives Bing that inner um, that inner run into uh, the ability to uh, to gain market share. The innovator's dilemma is real and it could provide an opportunity for Microsoft to gain market share. It's unlikely that Google wants to disrupt their cash cow search ads business. This is especially true during a recessionary environment like we're in right now. It's a risky position. For Microsoft, this investment seems to be a no-brainer. It powers Microsoft's entire software flywheel. It makes their applications better, increases productivity, increases the rate of software development, and ensures that Microsoft's cloud is the primary host for this activity. Plus, it seems like they will be getting an ownership stake in a high growth company with the potential to power the future of computing. For Microsoft stock, this widens their economic moat and fuels the growth engine behind their core business. It increases the likelihood of continued high earnings growth well into the future. Personally, I've been buying way more Microsoft stock in recent months, and it's now my largest position in my long-term dividend growth stock portfolio. In my latest portfolio update video, one of the key lessons I discussed was the importance of having large cash reserves. Microsoft is a company that benefits from this. With $107 billion in cash on hand and reliable subscription revenue, Microsoft is in a position of strength. This allows them to be on offense and make massive acquisitions. Microsoft is cash rich, while many of their tech peers are weak. 
This OpenAI investment is a key example of Microsoft on offense. If you want to learn more about Microsoft stock, I recently made a full Microsoft stock review video. My plan is to continue dollar cost averaging into Microsoft as the price goes down. That said, all of this is just my opinion, so be sure to do your own research before making any investment decisions. Oh, and by the way, the title for this video was generated by ChatGPT, so we'll see if it goes viral. Thank you for watching Dividend Data. You can sign up for DividendData.com to use my stock research software and join a Discord community of like-minded investors. Follow me on Twitter for all my latest stock buys and dividends coming in. Thanks for watching.